Hogsmeade! Tomes and scrolls. Let's see what I can get. Because if I can get a bunch of stuff planted right now, I'd be really happy. Oh, I guess that means we gotta go to the Magic Neep, too. A little bit sad I can't get the upgrade just yet. Thank you. I can't get the upgrade just yet for upgrading gear specifically, but that might be something fairly close by. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. Yeah, well, let's see what you have for sale then. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Sheesh. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Oh no, I'm poor. <laughs> I forgot. A pleasure doing business with you. This is gonna be bad. Hmm, I guess I really shouldn't care too much about the upgrade slots just yet. I'd like to. I'm gonna run. Uh, get rid of the mask. They're just kind of taking up inventory slots, and the game's being really stingy about that upgrade. I wish I could see what I currently have on. All right. I would like... What should I get sooner rather than later? Use it to create fertilizers that can be used to increase the yield of a seeded plant. Unlocks the ability to conjure a beast feeder. Place one to make sure your beasts are kept fed. Periodically brew a randomly selected potion. Use it to produce moonstone essential for additional conjuration spell crafts. This sounds like a really good thing to get immediately. Um, I want the table that gives me five small plants. Nothing like finding that just the right thing. Material refiner. And then I cry about everything else. Um, It would be nice to have the other potions. I should hold off. There Let might... Know if there's anything else <laughs> Magic Neep might have some things I need, because right now, I don't know how many seeds I actually have. Flash traveling a few feet away. It's not a few, it's more like 30, 50. This took a little bit longer than I anticipated. Okay. What do I have? Oh, the invisibility potion. <laughs> yeah, if I wanted to be rude and use some of those be with you in a bit. invisibility potions. Room of requirement items. Seed packs. Lux weed shoot. I wish I remembered the uh, ingredients for stuff. I'll get Mallow Sweet. Now you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. I'm just gonna go ahead and sell this ceramic mask. You have a good head for business, haven't you? And this scarf. I can sell this too. All right, um, you can tell me here, focus potion, 
not grasses for invisibility. I don't really care about that too much right now. Um, Shrivel Fig requires a medium pot, so I can't do that right now. We need it for Thunder Brew. Okay. I guess I'll do... Oh, I, I need a large pot for that. All right, so that... I guess I'm getting not grass seeds. Woo! Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Fertilizer. I need don't money. Say I don't keep a stack shelf. I need money. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Now that I have the uh, room of requirement, once I get a whole bunch of stuff growing in here, we'll be pretty happy with that. And then we can, we can go... We need to go do that mission for the for Mr. Pippin. <laughs> All right. Herbology. Oh, these moved down. Weird. Does the eclectic pot or eclectic potting table have like water underneath the pots? That's kind of nice. I like that a little bit more. All right, and that actually doesn't cost too much moonstone to have, but let's see how this one works first. Uh, and then we have a material refiner. Let's see what these look like. Ooh. I like the eclectic one. I, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> we'll just keep it green then. Eclectic refining station that periodically produces moonstaff, essential for conjuration, spell crafts. There. All right. Unfortunate that they're going to be a little bit off sync, but that's fine. It's just by like 10 seconds. In 10 seconds, or like 10 minutes is not that bad. Let's see how the seas work out with this. All right. So, do I have infinite Dittany seeds? I really don't need, like, too many of these. Uh, wow, okay. Can be grown in pots of any size. Oh! Those are... Yeah, we're going to need the medium pot stuff. Holy hell. Okay. Uh, Dittany. Dittany. And... Not grass. Actually, I should probably empty this pot. Not grass. So these are all 10 minutes? Holy shit. Uh, I guess... Let's fertilize this. Okay, that increased the yield to six. Not exactly the most exciting thing, but I guess if I have more fertilizer, I can just keep slapping it on there and that'll increase the yield more and more, which would be nice. <laughs> they, they got me here like this is this is <laughs> this is gonna be what, where I come back every once in a while I'm, uh, this is where I'm willing to set up a timer for this I'll probably set the timer for like 15-ish minutes if 
feel like that's better than me coming back every actually 10 minutes. So maybe like 15, 20 minutes or so. 15 minutes I know, oh yeah, I should probably head there soon. And then like, then I head in like 20 minutes. We'll see how it works out. Okay. Um, and just because I'm really fucking greedy, I'm still going to get the plant in the greenhouse. I wonder what size pot that is. I imagine it's just small, but if it's a medium to large for free, that would be pretty swell. Small planner. All right, fine. Well, we're gonna have tons of Dittany leaves. That's for sure. Okay. So right now, what do I have available to do? We have we have a lot. We have a lot to do. Holy hell. Um. Conjuration spell. As exciting as that is, it probably isn't anything amazing. But I'll still do it. Uh, so here's what I'll do. We'll do a main mission. I know we pretty much just did, but like, yeah, we'll 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 go visit Sebastian. Hey, you know what? This doesn't look too bad. I'm still gonna swap it up. Obviously, you don't have to make your entire outfit blue if you're wearing blue. But a little bit of matching shades. Makes me happy. Okay. Ugh. We're fast traveling to Sebastian. Actually, I guess I should should keep an eye out for things. There might be things in here that, uh, we need. We need those Dedalian keys after all. Revenia. Oh, neat. Did I hear a key? I did. Look at that. Immediately. Oh, okay, I know where it's going. <laughs> Damn it. Are you ready to slap? Oh. Good progress, good progress. I could fly here if I wanted to. I don't know where I'm limited in flying. Whoa. You can't dismount in here. What? I should be able to dismount anywhere if I can fly to it. Fine. Peeves? Juggling for just yourself, huh? Keep your sentence. has a brand new game. Just beware the open flame. Wait, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> well, surely those aren't like actual real flames. They're gotta be like ghost flames that wouldn't do any damage. Uh, otherwise, can't imagine they'd let him do this. <laughs> All right, peeps, I'm getting out of here. Whee! You're welcome for a little bit of the audience. Over here. You don't need to whisper. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment. 
in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. I doubt that. <laughs> I'm sure there's a professor who knows about it. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Is it? Is it behind the fucking skull painting? Oh, no, it's inside whatever this is. Is this supposed to be a clock? Oh. Sure, I guess. He didn't show us how to do it, but fuck it. <laughs> how did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Uh. He named it the Undercroft. Fun name. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. All right, I he mean... never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. Then you should have just we told him. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. All right, well, if you get in trouble, it's not on me, it's on you. Communicate with your friends, thank you very much. I know Ominous, met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does, no idea how though. Ominous was born blind and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Teach me a homora. Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Huh? Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. <laughs> does sound dangerous. Uh... It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon you using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay, sure. I mean, I'd rather... It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. I might as well learn the spell and then decide if I'm going to use it. Make a Z in the air! Woo! You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Sure. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. All right. Let's go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. I do like the sound of that. All right. The Blasting Curse. Confringo. Uh, I think that's this one. Let's see, a long-range bolt that deals damage on impact. Enemies hit with fire-based attacks will continue to take damage for a few seconds, during which time collisions will result in incendiary bursts. Huh. Wait, is that just what it says for all things? Okay. <laughs> Are there any other fire-based spells? Or is it just the two of them? Seems like the two of them. Alright, uh, well... Ah, actually, we'll do it like this. Confringo. Nice work. How does it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. 
Does it make my wand? That's it. I think I've got it. Produce a lot of heat, huh? Jeez. Well done. Well, this isn't one of the forbidden spells, so I mean that's nice. Thank you for this. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. It is pretty nice. I'm ready for more spells like this. I mean, yeah. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. Well, I don't know about that. where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Yeah? I've been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Sure. I can do that. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Unfortunately. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. We Nothing did tell you a lot, you. huh? And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I'll tell you the truth. I'm not ready to tell you everything. Man, at this point, fuck it. I mean, I might as well tell him everything. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I'm, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we do well, know. When you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. I'll do my best, I guess. I don't know when how I many opportunities. Felcroft, I'll send you an owl. Would present themselves to okay. lead someone down here. Thank you for not looting all these items, I guess. Let's get out of here. Is the professor back? Cause a lot, a lot has happened since he went on his little trip. We have so much stuff. Ooh. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. <laughs> uh -huh. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, 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 I stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passage. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? Uh, you breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. Oh, yeah? My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Jesus, okay. Uh, no need for threats. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. 
And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. That's Bruce, fair enough. I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. I... You know, I'm sorry. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. I tried, Sebastian. Good luck! <laughs> like I said, you should have fucking just told him. You should have just been like, hey, I want to show the... the the new girl, uh, the Undercroft, and then you, you know, <laughs> then you, you, then you wouldn't be in as much trouble. Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work again? I actually don't when need you this. Spot or hear a flying key, you're to follow it back to its cabinet. Inserting it in the lock is the tricky part. I hope you follow some. If you open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. So far, they've all been my houses. Come and see me as soon as you can. Ah! I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. It has been pretty productive. Is that it? Nice. Okay. I feel for uh, for ominous a little bit, but you know I. Think we can help each other, I suppose. I don't know if I can actually who who I can or cannot trust. You know, in the main series of Harry Potter, a lot of people in Slytherin, not all of them, but a lot of people in Slytherin tend to end up being in the uh the dark arts and dark wizardry area of things, you know? And I guess that's kind of where we're gonna end up. Good thing we're Slytherin ourselves then, huh? I'm gonna try not to be evil, I suppose. Okay, hold on, I gotta go to the world map. I would like to get that assignment done. Uh, whoa, level 30? Oh, wow. I didn't even see that before. <laughs> okay, I guess it's a good thing I didn't go immediately over to that. Wow. I mean, I could probably still do it. It just would really, it would be really tough. Uh, so I want to do the delivery, demanding delivery. Locate on map. Oh shit, it's all the way down there? Oh my god. I was going up this way because I thought that was the way of the quest! Oh my god! I was in the wrong area entirely! Holy hell. Oh wait, 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 no, we're good, we're good. I got turned around. I was going the right way. I just was fucking around over here. Okay, this is the Forbidden Forest up here. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Whew! Getting all turned around on this map. Lordy. Uh, I guess I'll... fast travel over here. Actually, I should have gone to the... Should have gone to the... Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Who's immediately outside of this little building? Wait, I should have gone to my secret room. Oh, it's just a dog. Well, wolf. Done. Did it. <laughs> Poor wolves. Yeah. Oh my god. I was just trying to get over the fence and I ended up going all the way around it anyways. What do we have here? Dog bog. Hmm. Well. Ugh. Ow. God, oh, I messed it up again. Ugh. Darn it! Meow. It's so fun doing that. I I love dashing around combat. Okay. Yep. Felt like that was about to happen. Gotcha! Oh, 
Oh my gosh! How could you? Oh! Oh! I messed up a little bit there. I killed the other oh, spider. Think you're a deadly great spider. It's poor things. All right. Hogwarts map, secret rooms, and room of requirement. I like how we have three secret places to worry about: the map room, room of requirement, and now the undercroft. Take things. You should be proud of all the potions you brew. Nice. All right, now these are a little bit more in sync. Anything that takes a really long time? Like, a really, really long time? Because it doesn't seem like it. All right. So this will be the place I like actually go for like the Denny Lee's a whole bunch. Oh. oh, no, I got that too. Okay. I spam square everywhere. <laughs> All right. Back to my mission. I do wish that you could, like, move out of these map areas without having to go, like, all the way to the top of the screen or, like, press left and right on the D-pad. If I'm doing this, right, <laughs> I'm, I'm, get me out of here. I get it. Like, just put me on the rest of the world map. I wish there was a smoother transition with that, but that's fine. All right. I'm really surprised that like the time for everything growing is just 10 minutes. I can imagine. I wonder if maybe some of the larger stuff will take longer. That would make sense. Like, oh, the large plot, large plants cost like 30 minutes to an hour to make. Because 10 minutes is so fast in the time of, like, doing gaming that it almost feels overbearing. Like, I could go there over and over and over again. The only thing that's going to make me not go there super fast is that's kind of inconvenient to actually navigate to. At least on, like, the controller. Like, it's, it's just enough fucking steps that I'm not... Like, if I could press the map button and then hold square and I'm just in the room of requirements... I'd, I'd, I'd go crazy. I would religiously be just fast traveling over and over and over again. But instead, there's like five to six steps. I gotta navigate around the menu. Ah, you know, <laughs> I'm good. Now, oh, what the fuck? There's a shop over here? Hold up. Let me pop these balloons and then I'll go check that out. Maybe that's Arn. I don't actually know if like Arn's in the hamlet that we left him in. Wasn't this a goblin encampment over here? Oh shit, they're back. 